Starter lets them rip. Vuevar got caught up in the stall gates about two lengths slow into stride along with Sylvan Jet. Unbelievable Chad's also dropping anchor in the early stages. Mr. Roy, the orange cap, first one to stride. Well in flight is right there on the right-hand side in second. Mulrace in the blue at the rail is third. Restless Rogue is fourth on the outside. Monte Cristo secures the rails run in fifth position. Gurkha Chief is sixth. Unbelievable Chad in seventh position. Thunderwood is eighth. Sylvan Jet in ninth. Tenth position belongs to Yuri's Gold. Yuri's Gold is giving them ten length start as they shake loose and go past the 800 metre zone. Towards the back end of the field, what a boyki. Vuevar just in front of them. In front, Mr. Roy dictating by a length and a quarter. Well in flight, she's second on the outside. Mulrace at the fence is third, Restless Rogue towards the outside. Monte Cristo is going to look for some galloping room, going to follow well and fly through as they come to the 400. Unbelievable Chad, green sleeves and cap to the outside. Mr. Roy driven at the 300 by a length and a half. Monte Cristo now comes through his length and a half to make up. Between runners, well in flight. Here comes Monte Cristo, got to get to Mr. Roy the last hundred. Mr. Roy by a half. Monte Cristo is trying to wear him down. Mr. Roy is game and he will not be denied. Mr. Roy and Brandon Lorena from Monte Cristo, well in flight and then Mulrace. Well, nice to see Brandon Lorena in the winners. I chatted him this morning on his way to the races. We're going to have a chat him for the weekend for understarters' orders. And we said, Mr. Roy, that would probably be his plum of the day. And, of course, mark my card. He's looking for a big performance later in the afternoon. But the son of Western Winter for the Allison Wright stable, Mr. Roy. Brandon knows him well, and he comes good. Monte Cristo given every chance in second. He moved up to get Mr. Roy at the 100-meter mark. But Mr. Roy, he just kept on fighting. Well in flight and Mulrays. Then came Restless Rogue, Unbelievable Chad, Thunderwood. Mr. Roy has always been very useful. We saw him come back to his better form last time, third behind McDuff. And he went to the head of affairs, the son of Western Winter. The 1400 suited him dead right from a decent gait. He kept up the momentum. Monte Cristo, he moved up very dangerously at the 200 meter peg. But once he locked horns with Mr. Roy, Mr. Roy just pulls out that little bit extra at the run down to the gate. Number one, Mr. Roy. Back to the studio. Oh, Mr. Roy has come through, the son of Western Winter, and showing his class, carrying top weight here in this field. Mr. Roy has come through to win well here for uh, Alison Wright, and of course, owner Roy Moodley is always been a beautiful, handsome-looking individual uh, that's dear to Alison's heart, and uh, he's come through to win a very good race here, Alison, over this 1,400-meter trip, and you always thought a bit about him. Yeah, Dee's, um, you know, in his two-year-old career, he competed in all the features. And I think if you go back and look at every race, he had an excuse. He, he never got the run of the race, and he was always interfered with. So, you know, we brought him back to this, uh, you know, it was an ideal race for him uh, just to get his confidence. His last run in the 16 was also very good. Again, he was meant to go up there, and he landed up last and ran on. So, yeah, he's just, he is a really nice horse. And um, just well done to Mr. Moodley. And uh, to Gordon, I don't know, I think he was flying in or something, so he's not here today. But thanks to them, you know, they, they paid a lot of money for him. And, um, yeah, we're just happy that he can get the wins. He carried top weight today, and uh, there were some uh, decent horses below in the weight. So this was a win full of merit. Yeah, Dees, and well done to Brandon. You know, we didn't really want him to be in front, but, you know, there wasn't a lot of pace. And uh, Brandon so slowed it up and, yeah, rode a very good race. So well done to him. And thanks to the team at home, and well done to Kevin. Anything else from your side? No, Dees, that's it. Um, just a well done to Lama Scroll, the second winner for today. And um, I think they've also got a half-brother on the sale. So that's nice for them. Well played. And thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood. Safe trip back home. Alison Wright and uh, Lama Scroll start again. Another one for them. Uh, Peter Kraft, uh, well played. And, of course, the son of Western Winter. Talk us through it because the stable didn't want him to be in front. But... You've been in this situation throughout your career. When those gates open, everything changes. It's plan A, plan B, plan C, even a plan Z. Yeah, of course, these, um, obviously our plan was always going to be positive, you know, because of the lack of pace in, in the form. 
And, uh, you know, I think it actually played out perfectly into our favour because, you know, we got some of the dangers stuck on the rail and, and I think, uh, you know, that just hampered their chances of beating us and, and uh, he showed his, his well-being towards the end. He kicked on well. Won a very good race. Well done to Kevin now. Well done to Roy and Gordon. Another nice one. Decent horse on his day. He can run this, this individual. Yeah, he can. He's, he's, a, he's a lovely horse to ride here. You know, big action, uh, a lot of him, and a good turn of foot. So, you know, I think in the right races, he'll always, he'll always be competitive. And if it was a beauty contest, I'm sure he'll win it hands down every time. Absolutely, dude. I think Hugh Hefner might want to take over him. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else left from your side, young Brandon? Um, Dees, I got Kelly's King in the next. Uh, he's got a big chance. Uh, obviously, a very good run over the 2 4 last time, back to 1950. Uh, with a good draw, I think he'll be, he'll be in the first three. Uh, mark my card, if it cools down, I think she'll have a big shot. Um, the field scratched down to eight runners, and, and uh, our draw's not too bad. She has a good chance. You've partnered her last two runs where she's been running on smartly as well, and no problem with the distance. She's shown that she stays. Yeah, and uh, Wayne's tried a few different things at home, and, and they seem to be helping her. So, you know, she's improving with every run. Hopefully, she improves to, to the number one box today. Top ride, yeah. Thanks, Deez, and thank you to my sponsors, Opfleet. Well played. Brandon Larina, owner Roy Moodley, well done. Number one, Mr. Roy, that's the number you'll need in the first leg of the jackpot. If you caught this quartet, one, four, six, and then ten. Coming up next will be race number five. Well, the exotics are all done and dusted now. So you've got pick threes, doubles, and all to come bets to play from races five through to eight.